I don't really need any of this other stuff. Clowns don't know what you're in for. Like paranoid that there's like mines and shit everywhere. It's curious that the um, the camera shows up on the thermal. I wouldn't expect it to be putting off that much heat. I knew this place was booby trapped. I'm full on these, anyways. Man. Look at that. That's dirty, man. What else is that over there? Is that ammo? I think it's just ammo. Yeah. They're trying really hard to get me killed. something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. 
The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Get a thermal gaggies out. I don't see anything that's threatening yet. Good old rations. We're gonna need those. They're yummy. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? Move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Vulcan Raven's talking about some jank ass. Well, not really jank, but just they're just talking about some Olympics, like Alaskan Olympics. It's interesting they give a stinger missiles for this fight. We're gonna use everything on this guy. Oh, 
fuck, he's he's coming for me. Yeah. This is one of those cool fights where you can just use like everything. Oh fuck. Fuck, he, he's gonna get me. I need to make a move. Shoots those things down. That's right. Oh, man. Fuck. Hey, where'd he go? No, get up. Get up. No, oh, fuck. Homeboy going. Oh, come on. Get up. I don't think I have any. Oh my god, this is it. Get up. Oh my god, you can't. Oh, he's gonna kill me? This is gonna kill me? Balls. That was dumb. What's wrong? Snake. Like, Snake. the one fight you can just go cheapo as hell. All right. Can't believe I just 
Oh, that's embarrassing. I mean, like, you go full on, like, Kevin McAllister. Is that who the kid is in Home Alone? Like, you basically get to set traps everywhere in this fight. destroy the environment, I see. Pass up the body on it. Oh no! Oh 
shit, he's gonna hit me. Damn it. This is... I should not be dying to this. This is so dumb. I mean, it's really my fault. It's not the game's fault, but just... I can't believe... I can't believe I'm playing it out this bad. He's standing like right on one, isn't he? How did he spot me? There's like a mine hanging around there somewhere.
you don't get up. Man, he can kill you so fast. Hey, what's up, organic necro bud? How you doing? Fuck, this is bad. Um, I'm gonna throw a stun grenade, I guess. Come on, get up, get up, get up. He didn't, did he throw it? Get up. I don't think, oh my gosh. That's the problem with this guy. He didn't give a shit about nothing. So stun's not gonna stop him. Fuck. Come on. Damn it. This is... Ugh. I guess I just talk. I'm used to typing, sorry. Um, yeah, I never have this kind of trouble with this guy. Like, usually... Um, usually I just end up cheesing him with, like, the Nikitas and the Claymores. And instead, he's just like beat my ass relentlessly.